Yo, what's going on? And we are back. Today, what is the plan? We're start well, first off, we're starting off the morning in the in the good old uh, blanket. Come on now, you know the vibe. It's the vibe that's vibing. Um, I want to redo my enclosure today. I want to do. I want to redo this one. Yeah. So uh, we need to go to B and Q so I can get the materials um, to kind of make this a waterproof barrier. It's obviously, to put dirt, etc., etc. We need to go get some plants. We need to go get some height so we can have some height to it kind of thing. We've got a lot of stuff to do. It's going to be a busy day, so. Hello. Um, a little story for today. I actually have a new friend. I found in Rango's tank. I don't know if you can see him wiggling there. Um, I actually got a new... He actually just appeared. A little baby stick bug. Indian stick bug. Um, so, we're keep, so we're taking care of this guy now as well. So you might see him appear every now and again in the TikTok now as well. We love new friends. We love new friends. So yeah. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go for a shower because I need a shower, and then we're gonna go get some crazy materials to go do crazy things to have a crazy day. Boom! Believe it or not, the bonsai has been repotted. I want to show you. I want to show you. Uh, there it is, looking all mighty fine in its new new dirt. You can't see any dirt, uh, any roots, which I love. Happy days. Um, it's the time has just gone off for it to kind of come out the water, so I'm gonna take it out, put it on there, put it back on the shelf. After that, we're gonna go and head over to B and Q because we need to go pick up parts, well, a few bits and bobs for that enclosure there. I need to make it watertight, so that's gonna be fun. But yeah, so I'm gonna get around to that now. I forgot to tell you as well before I set. I forgot a cool. Um, I did an order on Amazon. I did an Amazon order, um, and I got this, a moisture meter. No, no, it's not for the girlfriend. No, it's not. It's for the plants. So what you do is you put it in there. You put it in the. You put it in the water. You put it in the what? You put it in the dirt, and it tells you if the dirt is wet or not. The blue is like maximum wetness, and the red is maximum dryness. So obviously, if it's in red, you want to water it. If it's in blue, you don't. I thought it was pretty cool. This. I need to figure out this whole focusing thing eh? because I'm not very. I'm not very good at it. Made it to destination zero. Thank you. Well, we're coming to get some waterproof material for the very. They also have a nice little house plant section. To be honest, being Q, it's uh, it's quite, it's quite splendid. Um, so we're gonna go check that out to see what they have. See if I can put anything in there that I'm interested in. My mum reminded me I do actually have two plants that I bought downstairs on the um, windowsill, so I can use them as well for the vivarium. Maybe base it off that. Go off that. See what I can do. Uh, but yeah, first off, we need to waterproof it. Okay, so boom, I guess they moved the house plant section. Damn! Look at the size of these damn leaves! Oh my god. Huge. Absolutely mahoosive. Trying to find, trying to look for them like hidden beauties, you know what I mean? Them ones that they don't know really are good, but are actually quite good. Um, we've left the trailer in the back, but we need some kind of pot for. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. I was gonna say for the big, uh, the big plant. I just showed you around the corner that we got, but that's not true. That's not true. So I'm gonna have a goose around. I'll uh, let you know if I find anything. This is what I have in my room now. Actually, this is what I got. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. But yeah, I'll let you know if I find anything. There was actually nothing over there. Literally nothing at all. I think it's because it's out of like the season or whatever it's not necessarily growing season so they're kind of getting rid of stock i don't know i don't know how how the plants that works in being cute but now we need to head over to i don't even know what section you know just gonna go over to like some maybe sheet sections see what like maybe is there any like flexible waterproof sheets um i did have on tiktok i was i didn't with scales and shells the other day and she found this some waterproof kind of material you can get that's super cheap from being cute so that's where i'm going that's where i'm going Okay, so we didn't achieve the goal exactly. We got this long piece of wood here that was actually on clearance. It's two pound. So I mean, if a water, if, if it's waterproof, it's it's you know no water's supposed to get through. So we should be okay with wood. And it is going to be with a bin liner. So there's no, I don't think anything's going to get through. Um, the only other thing I would need now is probably super glue. So I think it's the hunt for super glue. I can't think of anything else. Maybe a staple. Ooh, but then that would put holes in it. But it won't be a bad idea though. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, so the solution is I'm going to. 
use that piece of wood. I'm staying with that. I'm using this super glue with a brush nozzle so that way I can get all the way around the enclosure and make sure it's a good seal along the way as well as an all weather Gorilla Tape to go along the bin liner when I've glued it on just to ensure that waterproof seal and then we can just kind of fill up with dirt up until that dirt line and then of the bin liner I mean and then we can go from there I think. Boom. The goods have been bought, paid for and accomplishedly bought. We're over there, the little black car in the distance. We're heading there now, we're gonna go I think straight home because we need to get this done and then from there we can decide what we need to do because we got I think, a, I think we've got a lot to do we've got a lot on our hands today so let's get going boom we've made it home da da so we just need to bring all this stuff in now from the boot into the garage um, and then we're going to go upstairs measure up the measure up the vivarium see what we need to cut see how much I need to cut really I'm thinking of cutting two layers so it's two layers thick of this wood here so it's kind of two of these so that it's kind of like an exoterra then, um, with thickness and the plants have plenty of, you know, kind of soil to grow in. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's get upstairs and let's have a look first. Okay, boom, so I've just got in and I've measured what is the width from here to here. It's about, tw it, well, it is 23 centimeters. So I'm gonna go downstairs now into the garage. I'm gonna get that wood and I'm gonna cut it to 23 centimeters and I'm gonna see if it fits perfectly across. If it does, I'm gonna do the exact same again with another piece. So it sits, it's gonna sit about this high up in the in the Bavarian, which is totally fine. I'm totally happy with, um, but yeah. Let's just see how that goes first, hey. Okay, right, enough faffing about. We've got a piece of wood here. Let's go see if this fits. If it does, we're gonna trace it, we're gonna cut it again, we're gonna put it in. Okay, boom. So we have achieved success. It has a little bit of wiggle, but obviously the next step is to clean it out, take the geckos, put them into a container so they're okay, and then obviously take everything out and fit this in. Let me go ahead and prepare a box um, and get these guys put in there. This is perfectly fine. I'm happy with one layer. I measured it up against this piece of glass here and it basically is the exact same. When we close the door, we're able to close it fully. So I'm really happy with kind of going forward with it. So yeah, let's get a move on. Okay, so the geckos are now in there from there and we just have to go ahead and empty this out now and um, obviously start lining the bottom. Okay, so boom, we've got it initially lined and now what I want to do is I want to go around the top with our Gorilla tape so then it's creating that seal and it'll create a really good one as well, especially with the Gorilla stuff. Okay, boom, so we've got the base layer down of the um, bin bag. It is completely and utterly tied down to this thing. It could do with maybe another piece here where it's got a little gap, but I can't see any water going down there. Next step is I'm going to get the super glue we got, which is here, and I'm just going to run it along a bead along here so we can stick this down to it. We'll then super glue that on top of the bin bag. Okay, so the bin bag is completely and utterly secured to the bottom. That's fully fitted now. We just need to fit this white piece of wood in. I'm going to super glue the bottom of it, jam it down, or I might even wrap it in a layer of bin liner first just to make it fully waterproof. I think I'm going to do that, to be honest. So I'm just going to wrap it up in bin liner, and then I'm going to put it in. Um, I'm going to do it with super glue. Okay, so boom. That's what we're looking like right now. And I know you're thinking, wow, Kyle, that looks really ugly, but I'm thinking of black vinyl in the sides, so you ain't going to see this from the outside. It's all going to be black vinyl. Um, it's all going to be kind of in there. Um, so I'm just waiting for that to dry now. Then we can go ahead and kind of get started on getting the dirt in there and stuff, because that's the only thing we need to do now. Yo, we're in the garage. We have all everything we need to get the job done. And you best believe the first step out of everything is getting the dirt in there. So that's what I'm going to do. I have a whole bin bag for the dirt, so we're just going to get chucking. We're going we're to do this half full with my dirt and half full with some other dirt as well. That's me done with my dirt. I'm gonna get this here that I bought from the shop the other day in the video. The, the earth mix, because this has some really good stuff in it. Um, and I think it would be really good for the plants, as well as the geckos. I am happy with that. Let me show you a bit of a close-up. Literally up to the fill line. We've filled it up all the way. There's no point not making use of the space we've just made otherwise. 
I look like an idiot. So obviously we have our plants now. We can get some more dirt from these, which is epic. We're just going to shove these in there, really. We're just going to make an environment for them that is nice. It's not going to be too complex. I don't want it to be too kind of crazy out there kind of thing. I just want it to be better than what they've got now because what they've got now isn't the best. And um, I kind of want them to have the best. So, yeah. I'm going to take out this fern here, like so. Boom, look at that. Lovely little fern. And we're just going to plant it in the back corner. Literally, all we're going to do, we're going to get this one, do the same thing. Well, it's, what I'm doing down here is I'm literally just whacking off the, like, the, the old dirt from the roots so then we can get it mixed in with our good new dirt. So basically, we're just taking off that. There's some long ones in here that are too long, so we're just going to take them ones out. Boom, so we'll try this now. See if we can get it any lower, to be fair, because we have got a big kind of space, haven't we? go what else have we got we have got two more we have got um these two that you didn't see from the shop but i have i have a feeling these are way too big um we're gonna have to leave them for the big variant that we have just next to us so what i believe would be best is if we use these little ones that we bought and what you can do with these is you can actually break them up which is quite cool um you not you don't have to keep them in a massive clump kind of thing so from the plant literally just from kind of picking at it you can you can pick um little nodes basically and you can plant them in there And what I will need to do is tomorrow, um, what you won't see in this video is normally I put in some isopods and some springtails, but I totally forgot to pick some up while we was out earlier. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow. I don't have time for that. Boom. So there we go. Let me give you a close up of what we got so far. This is what we're looking like right now. It's looking really good. What I wanna do is I wanna get some wood pieces. I have a bag full of wood in here. And I just want to get some wood pieces in there so they can have a bit more hidey stuff, hidey places to go, etc. I'm quite happy with how this turned out, actually. Well, bam! It's been put in its um, place now. I'm really happy with how it out with the out with the outcome. Um, the I put the vine inside um, that they had in the previous setup just because it allows them to get up high and get that heat. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs now. I have two packages that have just arrived. I. I don't think I can use them tonight. I'm not too sure. I kind of want to wait for the right bulb to arrive. Um, but I'll bring it up now and I'll show you. And we'll give them both. And we'll give everything a go. We'll give everything a go. Okay, so what's come in the post today is I got myself for the first time. I got myself some Pangea uh, Gecko Diet. I got some Fig and Insect. I thought this would be really good. This one was out of stock in most places. So this is the one I went with. Um, and then as well, I've got myself some Ceramic Bulb Heaters. So these are going to be popped on top. Now, with these, these came with them, just kind of off the bat. However, they're not ceramic and they're not something I know. They're a, they're a halogen bulb. And I don't know if that'll be too hot for the geckos and I don't really want to risk it when everything could be here tomorrow. Kind of thing. It is warm enough in my room now. The temperature in the vivarium is going to be a bit cold because we've just been outside. But in Rango's, we're looking at 23 degrees, which is perfectly fine. I'm just going to set these up, plunk them on top, but I'm not going to turn them on or fiddle bulb in them. And then, we'll, and then we'll go ahead and mix some feed and then we should be okay. And boom, they have been moved over with spider lady <laughs> well, yeah, guys. thank you so much for watching today's vlog i really appreciate it and obviously thank you for sticking around um we've got more vlogs coming we've got a bigger vivarium being done and we've got awesome things awesome things planned uh but yeah thanks again guys have a lovely rest of your night ciao for now